Hello you wonderful people I hope you all are doing absolutely fine welcome back to the channel and in today's video I am going to break down first year biomedical engineering roadmap for 2025 right so this is going to be an updated video where I am going to take you through all the things that you should be doing as a first year biomedical engineering student and I have focused on covering all the topics that a college will never teach you right and in today's world it's very important for you to be skilled enough to get a good high paying job as a fresher in the biomedical engineering domain so how to lead four years of your college life starting with part 1 first year biomedical engineering roadmap and here we go okay i believe you all can see the screen so without further delay let's get started so why this roadmap why you should follow this roadmap that i have prepared for you guys it's it's basically because i feel i have focused on bridging the gap between what the college is teaching and the what the industry is expecting you to have so there is a big gap between both of these things colleges would focus more on teaching you the theory and uh, i feel students lack the hands on experience that they need to survive in the real world right and industries are like today's world industries are requiring you to have skill sets like ai hardware software clinical exposure and what not and this roadmap fills the gap with practical and free resources so that's why you should follow this roadmap and if you stick to this then i'm pretty sure that you would be having a really good journey studying and exploring biomedical engineering for the next 4 years so how we are going about this is i have broken down semester 1 and semester 2 into halves in this video first semester what you have to do second semester what you have to do what are the objectives i will be covering everything uh in these two segments right starting off with semester 1 the main focus or the main objective we have in the first semester is to build the foundation and create the digital awareness what i mean by that is you need to build some clarity about what biomedical engineering is right the, you have to get a proper understanding about the field and you have to learn digital skills to stand out what are digital skills uh, and how you can stand out i have covered everything in this video so stick till the end and begin early networking so these are three important things that you should be focusing in the first semester is first build clarity about biomedical engineering industry second learn digital skills to stand out from the crowd and third is begin early networking so these are the important objective for you to start off your college in the first semester now let me tell you what colleges will not teach you right and as i was telling you guys most of the colleges are focused on teaching you the theory and sticking on to the old syllabus which is pretty much outdated now so i am focusing on what colleges will not teach you they will never tell you what biomedical engineering actually is right now biomedical engineering is more than just the mix of biology and engineering now there are diverse career paths like r&d clinical engineering imaging ai in healthcare prosthetics and you can understand how bme fits into hospitals startups and medtechs and stuffs like that so if if like if you see right the colleges the professors the faculties they run behind placements but if as a student if you go and ask them ki which are the top companies in the clinical engineering domain which are the top companies in the artificial intelligence domain under biomedical engineering they would be pretty much clueless because they are also getting accustomed to this new technological trend and the industrial change that is happening so colleges are not going to teach you in depth and complete understanding of what biomedical engineering is they are they are just going to tell you that okay it's a mix of biology and engineering and they will give you a surface level information next slide a must watch video for intro now in the first semester we have to watch two videos which are very important what biomedical engineering is career opportunities job profiles and salary by biomed pro so it is in my channel if you go and scroll down in the bottom you will find this video and the second video is from tamir shaheen he talks about biomedical engineering everything you need to know about the field you watch these two videos and you will get a pretty much understanding of what biomedical engineering is what the job opportunities look like what the salary packages would be like what are the job profiles you can get into and what is the scope of biomedical engineering in the future and things like that so very important video for you to watch in the first semester okay now moving on digital tools and productivity like i said you need to learn digital skills to stand out right so what 
digital skills now colleges may focus on powerpoint but you need to know how to manage your time projects works digitally using modern tools now gone are the days where you are sitting and you are studying and you are assign doing your assignments you're doing your projects and things like that it's high time for you to make use of digital tools and productivity tools that helps you to be more productive and you know make the best use of your time right so these skills will help you with documentation report submissions internships tracking your progress every semester and uh, things like that so very important for you because these are the things the colleges will never teach you these are the things which are i feel is very important for you as a biomedical engineering student and as an engineering student in general as well so moving on first the free tools to learn under this is canva right number one is canva because it helps you to build projects reports presentations videos graphic designs posters and pretty much everything and you need to learn how to use canva right you would be like i don't have money to learn i don't have resources so don't worry about any of these things just go to google and type uh canva design school and you will see a lot of beginner friendly intermediate and advanced level courses that they are offering with certificates free of cost yeah uh the link is there in the description for all of these tools you can just click on that log in and then just start learning so the first tool that i want you to learn is canva pretty much would help you in everything that you need the second tool that you need to download as a student is notion now notion is your space to do it all your way and what is mean is a one place to manage your school work or college work clubs side projects assignments classroom notes so everything you do as a student right notes handwritten notes presentations pdfs and uh, lecture notes everything that you have you can just uh, put it on linkedin digitally uh, sorry notion digitally and uh, that would help you to be more productive and keep track of all the things that you are doing as a student So Notion is the second tool. How to learn it? Link is there in the description. Go sign in and just start learning. The third tool we have here for you is Excel Easy. Now Excel is one of the most important tool in today's world because if you talk about data science, data visualization, data representation, for everything, pretty much everything you need to do with the data, you need to know Excel really well. Now there is again a free tool or a free uh, website from where you can learn Excel and it is called Excel Easy. The link is there in the description. Go sign in and start learning. That's the third tool I have for you. On to the fourth tool or the skill that you should know is Python for beginners with a healthcare twist. Now Python is not just for coders. It's a vital skill in today's work if you're working world if you're working with data. right if you're working with medical data or data in general or image processing or device control then in pretty much 80 75 to 80% of the biomedical industry you would be able to utilize the skill that is python comes under coding so start with basics and slowly build towards health related applications right and how do i learn this is a very simple platform called kaggle so go to kaggle and you can start with the beginner friendly python course it's a 5 hours course pretty much will give you a complete understanding about python as a language for beginners so you can explore that and you can sign in and start learning the second a resource to learn this would be google for education and search for python and this is more like a documentation way of learning where you have to go through and read a lot of documents make make notes at the same time do some activities to implement what you have studied and test your skills and understanding so google is the second platform that i have for you okay now moving on to the next skill is linkedin or networking in the real world your visibility matters as much as your ability so ability is proportional to visibility you need to understand that so it is very important for you to document and share your journey from first year onwards as a biomedical engineering student when you do that your profile gets more exposure more hrs will start coming to your profile they will start engaging with you you will network with a lot of top notch industry experts and things like that so linkedin helps you to connect with industry experts seniors alumni from your college recruiters so start by building your profile and posting what you are learning how do you do this or how do you Uh, start with your journey in linkedin there's a one and a half to two hour master class that i have posted 
on my YouTube channel, which is LinkedIn Masterclass, all about LinkedIn profile, job, internships, covered pretty much everything. So go watch this video and follow it step by step, and go build your LinkedIn profile. Cool. Moving on now. In the second semester, right? So first semester you would be doing all these things. In the second semester, the objective is to explore domains and build mini projects, right? It's very important for you to explore all the subdomains that comes under biomedical engineering. Usually in colleges, what I have noticed is that they never tell you what these subdomains are. So if you are a student who is looking to pursue masters, it's very important for you to understand what subdomain you are going to get into and how you are planning to take masters in that specific subdomain that you have selected if you don't have this clarity taking a masters is going to be pretty much useless for you so exploring subdomains and start creating with small projects or experiments which will help you to test the skills that you have acquired so far and finally your focus would be to join online communities like biomed pro there are others as well you can feel free to join in those communities as well so what colleges teach so in the second semester colleges will teach you about human physiology basics of electronics basic programming maybe c language or matlab or python uh, varies from college to college so this is what the colleges would teach you right they will teach you about biology electronics and then coding now what colleges will not teach you is basically the subdomains of biomedical engineering what is medical imaging what is biomaterial what is signal processing what is medical devices how ai is impacting the healthcare industry bio instrumentation usually these are the topics which the colleges would teach you as a subject in the fourth or fifth semester onwards but i feel that's pretty much late for you to you know get introduced to these specific topics so in the second semester the focus here is to get an understanding about these medical subdomains biomedical subdomains that i have listed here cool so this is what colleges will not teach you and you have to study these things how you are going to study the best course right the best course in the biomedical engineering industry is biomedical engineering stanford course by mark salzman he also has a wonderful book biomedical engineering bridging medicine and technology so this is a course which will start from zero and make you a hero right so it will start from what biomedical engineering is very basic and it will take you to the advanced level of biomedical engineering and it covers every subtopic a uh, lecture by lecture so you get a proper understanding about what each subdomains are and what each subdomains uh, require you to know and things like that that will eventually help you to prepare for your masters moving on is diy mini projects without college labs right when you are in second year of college or second semester of college you will not have access to labs because you would not start with studying core biomedical subjects but i want you to do in the second semester is start with diy mini projects what it can be building a simple project like heart rate monitoring using arduino pulse sensor plus display on oled basic eeg simulators and things like that this may sound very big projects but they are very simple and you know if you just go to google and just put this headings they will teach you step by step how to build these projects so the earlier you start to build projects the better you would become uh, you know to get equipped with the right skills so very important for you to do mini projects every semester focus on doing two to three mini projects now how do you do it i don't know where to find it and things like that then i have a a resource for you here which is absolutely free it's called autodesk instructables a wonderful website for students so if you see here there is an example emergency aspirin container for heart attack prevention so if you just click on that it will give you everything starting from the basics what all equipments you would need what all components you would need how to build the circuits how to code uh, for the specific use case and things like that so this is the first resource that you could refer and the second resource we have is all about circuits all about circuits is again a wonderful website and example is given here the fitbyte how to make a eight tiny eight powered activity tracking wearable so these are like the fun projects that you can do and add it on your resume starting from second semester on this why second semester because in the first semester you will be learning a little bit of coding you will be learning a little bit of uh, uh biomedical engineering so first semester you would get a basic understanding and second semester you would start implementing it and uh, doing projects right now end of the year checklist right so once you are about or once you have finished your first year 
come back to this and check the following checklist that i have for you do you know about what biomedical engineering is have you explored at least three dom- subdomains of biomedical engineering have you built one mini project have you created a linkedin profile have you learned python basics have you connected with 20 plus seniors or mentors online have you learned how to send emails or build resume have you posted at least five insights on linkedin what i mean by five insights on linkedin is basically have you posted at least five uh, learnings that you have come across in the first and the second semester on linkedin right so these are the checklist if you are able to finish all the checklists that i have mentioned here then you are in the right track if you are able to at least finish 70% of the checklist you are still on the right track but if you are not having more than 50% of the checklist marked for yourself then i feel that you need to do the hard work that you need to do and at least go ahead and focus on uh, marking all the checklist down for yourself and what are my final thoughts colleges gives you the degree but you build your career start slow but start early you don't need to do everything just one thing at a time one thing consistently so i have given you the road map that you need for first year stick to it and i'll see you in the next with the second road map video till then stay safe let's learn and grow together signing off it's your vibe and bro bye